Well, hello there. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate, Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. So today we are at uh, Great Homes, in Missoula, Montana. Today, this video is going to be a repeat of one that I've already got on the channel. It was one of the very first homes I put up on the channel. This one also happens to be one of my favorites. So I figured since it was one of the first ones, I didn't have as good of equipment or anything like that, I needed to redo this one. This one is a got a really nice roof pitch on it. I believe it is a 712 roof pitch. It's a three bedroom, two bath, double wide. But as I just previously stated, for double wides, this is one of my all time favorites. This home is made by Kit Homes, as are most all the homes that they have here at uh, Great Homes. Once we get inside, you'll see why this one is one of my favorites. So I was real brief on the back side there. All right, so nice and quiet now that we're in here. So off to your left, as soon as you come in, you get yourself a little coat closet. Not just any old coat closet. I mean, this is a huge coat closet. A little bench to sit on. This thing even opens up. Gives you a nice little storage down there. Don't even have to turn the light on in here, there's so much light. But as far as entryway coat closets go, that's one of the biggest I've ever seen. And then, over here, is your living room. Now this is a wide open floor plan. But this is part of the reason what makes it my favorite. It's got that cathedral look to it, so to say. If that's what you want to call it. I love all the beams that run all the way across from one end all the way down to the end. Just really nice floor plan. And huge entertainment center. Lots of shelving in here. Nice place for some knickknacks, whatever. Huge area for the TV. So my TV that I have at home is a 65 inch. So it's about, it's about the same size as that one. And as you can see, there is tons of room on each side to add a much larger TV. You could probably get away with an 80 inch in there. Seems how it's a diagonal measurement from corner to corner. There are tons of space in your entertainment center. And if I remember correctly, there are pass throughs. I can't really get them on camera, but there are pass throughs. So you can run your cables from there or from there up to your TV. Really big living room now that I'm done oogling over the uh, entertainment center there. Just a really big living room area. We'll get a post in the way for a second. And then the dining room. So this table 
is well over eight feet long. So you can see just how large this table is, just how big your dining room is. And then you've got a place you can put, well they've got something there, I forget what you would call that, but anyway, you can put a table there or something there and for when you're entertaining, all your, like all your condiments, when you got all your guests over. Plus you've got this really big island. Now, I know some people don't like the sink in the island. Personally, I think in this home, it flows perfectly with the, the layout of the home. Now mind you, I don't know if you saw that or not, the price of this home, I will have a price listed at the end, so stay tuned for the price, but keep in mind, the base price for this home and the price of this home as shown is totally, is hugely different. There are almost $90,000 in options in this home as shown compared to the base price. Yes, I know it says push there, we will get to that. You've got these dark gray stainless steel uh, frigid air appliances. And I just shocked myself from all the static, but huge refrigerator. So I haven't even opened any cabinets yet. It's one thing it's for the price of this home I would have thought that it would have had and it would be something that, since I'm already adding $90,000 in options, what's a couple hundred dollars more for soft closed doors? So, as it says, push here. Now it's not the biggest pantry, but it's, these shelves are deep. Like I am almost shoulder deep here. So they're nice deep shelves. So you've got tons of storage space. Even room for your, uh, for a small stand up freezer right there. Your hot water heater is right back there. So your hot water heater is stashed away in your pantry. And they made really good use of hiding where it's at. Because you've got these cabinets here. And then on the back side is where that coat closet was. I know I didn't show much of that bar. And back over here is your laundry room. Straight ahead is gonna be your washer and dryer. Now there is no sink in here. Um, I think you could probably add a sink to it. Gonna be where your furnace is at. Now one thing I have noticed about kit homes and I'll show you here. As you can see they put drywall on the back side of the doors. Kind of helps keep even more of the sound from your furnace in the room so you don't hear it everywhere else. Now one thing about this home is all your bedrooms are at, down here at the same end. First, we'll start with your guest bathroom. If that's what you want to call it. This is almost as big as some master bathrooms. Just a single sink, but you got that glass backsplash. Hello, Raiden. Those of you that don't know, I always wave to my kid in the videos. Something that I started doing shortly after I started doing this, after he wa watched one of my one of my videos while I was editing. 
he got excited over it, thought it, thought it was kind of cool. So, just something I do every time I do a video now. So as you can see, really large bathroom for a guest bathroom. Now we'll head down here to the bedrooms. So that's gonna be master bedroom, bedroom two, bedroom one. Over here is bedroom one. Now even though all the bedrooms are the, in the same end, the master bedroom does not share a wall with the other guest bedroom or kids bedroom. So you got decent sized closets. Mind you, this one's full of trim supplies. Decent sized closets here. Fairly good sized rooms. So now as we come into this one here, this is the one that you would think would be sharing a wall with your master bedroom. And you do happen to have the closet right here, which technically butts up against the master bedroom, but yet still does not share a wall with the master bedroom. Because as we walk into the master bedroom here, now you're thinking, okay, well, how does it not share a wall with the master bedroom if the closet's right there? Well, you'll find out here in just a few minutes. So you've got a really nice sized bedroom. By now the size of the bedroom should have flashed across the bottom of the screen. But you can see why this is one of my favorites. Everything is laid out nicely. It's a wide open floor plan. Oops, I forgot to shut the door. You got to see some of the bathroom already. So this is why you don't share a wall with the other bedroom. Because the way that closet's laid out, the way this closet's laid out, they really don't share any walls. Really big closet here. Lots of double racks. Lots of shelving in here. Not sure that uh, it would take a lot of clothes to fill this closet. I'm not sure that I could ever fill it being a single guy myself. Eventually one of these days I'll I'll find someone. Everything is double racks except for this one little corner over here. This would be the perfect spot for the lady to uh, hang all her dresses or long coats or whatever else it is she's got. Now over here in the bathroom. So we're gonna come into the bathroom here. Nice big sink here, or big vanity. Really nice fixtures up above. Got three drawers, two really big ones. Back over here is your toilet area. A couple linen closets here. And then the master shower. Now this is the way I like the way Kit does them. Sometimes Kit Holmes always wants to put the shower back over here behind the door. This is the way I think they should do all of them. And those of you that uh, Got the really nice glass backsplash in there. Same one that's in the kitchen. But those of you that watch not only my channel, but uh, 
somebody else's channel, I won't mention any names, but you all will know who I'm talking about. This happens to be his favorite color of tile in the shower. Favorite style, that marble look. That is a really big shower. I could actually lay down in this shower and I'm almost six foot. I can lay down in this shower and probably still have a couple feet at the end of my feet. All right, well, if you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you. Hope you guys have reached down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Hopefully you've checked out the uh, description down there. Be a link to this home for more information down in the description. And uh, say thanks for watching and hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next one.